Good morning, Venom Workshop people. So today we're looking back at our X19. Uh, this is a bike I started, hadn't been started in a few years. I did a video on how to get a bike started. Um, runs and starts nice now, but we have a problem with the battery. So the battery's also been sitting in it for three years, but if I can, I'd like to save that battery. Um, so what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna pop the battery out. I'm gonna pop all these off here, the ones that say do not remove. Uh, I'm gonna remove that and uh, I wanna get a look inside. I wanna see how much acid it has in it. If it doesn't have much acid, I'm gonna try to fill it and maybe we'll try to, uh, we'll try to uh, recharge it and see how that goes. So I'm gonna go ahead and get the battery out. So getting the battery out is fairly simple on this bike. The tie down is already off it, so the strap isn't even on it. I just need my screwdriver for now. And I'll clean off these posts too when I have it off, but they actually look like somebody cleaned them not that long ago. But I'm still gonna give them a, a wire brush off. So I'm gonna get my battery out and I'll get it up on the bench and I will be right back. First off, I'm gonna take my battery tester. Let's see what it says. Let's see if it just does anything. It might not even light up. Yeah, it's not even lighting it up. So there's like no power left in this battery at all. So let's see why. Let's see why it won't hold any power. So we'll pop, the, we'll pop this off first. Looks like it's been on there for a while. When you pop these up, be very careful. Wear some uh, safety glasses. If there is a lot of acid still in here, it can pop up in your face. Oh, that one didn't want to come out, but that's okay. There we go. Okay, now if we look down in this battery, it is very, very, very low, if any, in there at all. There might be a tiny bit in one cell, and that's probably why this is not to hold any sort of a charge. Let's get a look down inside there. So if you see all them channels, they're empty, except for that last one's got a little bit of liquid in it. So I'm gonna go and I'm gonna fill this up, and uh, let's see if we can get this to take a charge today. So I'm back with my battery. I went ahead and filled it with acid. Now, I'm gonna. this might not work and it might work. And there is uh, different powders and stuff you can get for uh, bringing batteries back to life. But I'm gonna try a little bit of acid first. Um, we do, because we're a motorsports company, we do go for batteries fairly, uh, fairly regularly. So I try to save the ones that I can, uh, especially if it's a customer's unit. Now, um you have to be very careful battery acid is very very corrosive so if you are putting battery acid in a battery be very careful not get it on your skin if you do go rinse off your skin wash it off with soap as soon as you possibly can get it off your skin and you want to get it off as fast as you can i've had a lot of battery acid on my skin just because i don't care when i do a battery and uh, i mean i've melted clothes you just you want to be very careful um that being said, so this battery might come back. We're gonna put a charger up on it here. We're gonna try it out, see what happens. Uh, and I'll probably add a charge for the day on a trickle charge, but I wanna see if I can give it a, a fast charge first, if it starts to take any sort of a charge at all. So let me get my battery charger. And 
this is an older style battery charger. It's probably almost as old as I am, so don't hate on a new old girl. But it still works, so that's all that matters to me. Oop. So I want to put my red on my positive side, black on my negative side. Over here to my cord. Let's plug it in and see what happens. Let's see if I can get anything off it at all. So right now I was boosting something with it, so my battery charger is not set right. So let's let's get a look so you can see. Move our battery over. So I'm gonna go with a 12 uh, 12 volt 10 amp charge. I'm gonna flip over to charge. This is not a deep cycle battery, so we're just gonna go all others. And I'm gonna give it a little bit of time to charge. I could probably click it on there now, and it would tell me. But at least I'm getting power. It's telling me there's no power coming through at all. So let's see what's going on here. I just want to make sure power is coming from the charger. Like I said, it's an old charger. It's not really telling me anything here. So, I'm going to get my other tester. I'm faithful here. Yeah, there's 12 volts coming out of the charger. So I'm gonna leave it on that. I'm just gonna leave it actually on the boost right now because I want a lot of power going to that battery. I want to get a kind of a kickstart to charge. It's actually going up. And you'll notice as it's going up, it's leaking here a little bit. See how it's leaking? So that's a good thing. So it's kind of showing me that it is trying to take charge. I'm gonna get a rag. I'm gonna let it sit on a rag while I do that. I want a rag that is already cracked. I don't want the garbage bin here. I don't want to wreck a good rag. This one's seen better days. So we're gonna let that sit there. I'm gonna let it uh, bubble up a little bit because there is a lot of acid in it. And uh, we'll keep an eye on it all day, back and forth. We'll come over here and I'll uh, I'll probably be taking the cables off and seeing what I can do and uh, if it will drop down. I wanna make sure it stays charging. So let's drop it down to the tenor and we'll go to a charge and let's try my, char my tester again. Okay. Yeah, it's only pumping up four volts there. Yeah, even now it's only pumping out at three volts. So I want this to hit this with 12 volts. I'm going to let it charge it to keep charging at 12.12 .12, and uh, I'll come back to it a little bit. It's probably going to bubble up a bit and that's fine. I did overfill it a bit. It should be filled to about here. Um, and let's see what happens.
Hey, so I'm back down on the floor now. Uh, I had I was started doing a different job, but um, I left this on trickle charge all day. Remember, we started looking at this battery, so let's take a look at where we're at now. So look at that. It's at state of charge, 64%. The battery is normal now. We've got a voltage reading of 12.25, which is amazing. Uh, 71 cold cranking amps. So this is all doing exactly the way it's supposed to do. So 47.9% life of the battery is really good. Um, so tomorrow when I get back, I don't like leaving batteries to charge overnight. So tomorrow when I get back, I will uh, charge it again. But that there guys is how to bring a battery back. So that's the battery I took out today. I put a little bit of acid in it and I brought the battery back from nothing. It, it had no charge. Usually a battery that goes down to nothing is very hard to bring back, but sometimes you can coax them back and this one came back. So we're gonna put this one right back into our X19.